What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we are going to be playing some Barley on Siege, some assembly required. What's up guys, hope you guys are having a great day. So we're going to be playing Barley on this map. Now I've been doing a lot of Siege videos because it's a new mode. It's been out for about three weeks now and I'm personally loving it. I find it a great way to push and I'm having a lot of fun on something that's fresh. So if you guys want to stay up to date, currently I'm ranked 27th in the world and in Canada I'm 6th. Now I haven't been pushing really too much, I've just been playing the game, I've been helping out my close friend OG, he's pushing for the record, he's currently second in the world, also go check out his channel if you haven't already. But with that being said, I've been playing a little bit, uh, 27th in the world, I'm probably going to go for a top 10 finish next season, and I'm trying to decide whether I want to grind or not, or if I don't want to grind, so I'm not really sure what exactly I want to do. But anyways, let's hop into the video. We're going to be playing on this map. As I've said, Barley is super good here. There are a lot of good teams currently on Heist, so hopefully we get some good teams. Now with that being said, let's hop in the video and let's get into the first game. So here we go into the first game. We're going to be facing a comp that I've actually showed you guys where you pull out the Colt and a Pam, or well, a Colt and a very controlled Brawler. And you, dom and you break the walls and dominate the mid. Now their comp is really good. And it's going to be very difficult for us to win. As I said earlier in the intro, there are some very competitive teams on Heist right now. So it's definitely going to be tough to pull out a lot of wins. But we're going to see what can happen. We are a Barley and I'm pretty good at Barley I would say. So I might be able to control some games. Might be able to affect the outcome a lot. So let's see how it goes. Anyways, we're going to be right beside this Pam over here. Using this bush, we're not going to let the Pam hit us too much. We're probably going to be able to take the Pam down. We are going to be able to. We're just going to super on this side to help our team control. I don't really need the super too much to help me control lane. I can more or less do it on my own. So I'm definitely going to help them out a lot with my super. To help them force Brawlers to go in a direction. So anyways, it's, this is kind of weird. They're usually up over on the top. But there's, for some reason, to the right. So I think we're just going to shoot over there to charge our super. We are able to charge our super and we're just going to put it right in the middle over here. So we get some hits on them and the safe. We're going to move back. This guy is pretty low so we're going to try and hit him. We won't be successful. We're also playing with Ash and Ash is a pretty big YouTuber. He is a very good Brawl Stars player so if you guys haven't checked it out. I'm sure you guys have already checked it out if you're playing Brawl Stars. But check out his channel. It's really good and it's pretty informative. I do enjoy his channel. As someone who's a competitive player, he does post some pretty competitive gameplay and he posts some top ladder gameplay and that's always interesting for me. So go check it out. So anyways, we have been dominating lanes so far. I won't lie, I am a little bit lazy with Barley and I'm kind of auto-aiming <laughs> auto some shots because a lot of the shots that you're close to people you can hit with the auto-aim. Should be aiming though because my accuracy is way better with aiming than it is with auto-aiming. Ash will be able to take out the Pam, which is huge on a push. We're able to... Oh, we wasted a super there. We're able to take out two of them, though. Holy. He almost clipped us both with that one. That was brutal. We're going to stay up here with him. Trying not to go down. I'm just going to super right in the middle. It's not fully going to go off, but a lot of damage is going to be done to them. I might even be close to my super again. I'm like halfway there almost, so that's pretty good. They did do some pretty good percentage. I thought we were going to have a pretty good defense. Our comp isn't that good for defending. Now you can see a lot of the walls are broken, so we're definitely going to head over to the left side because we're going to strive there. I do think that Jigsaw should also be on the right side. I'm not into a void. I'm not in a void shot with him, so I can't necessarily say, hey man, go on the right side because that's where you're supposed to be right now, helping out Ash. But that's definitely where you're supposed to be placed. Anyways, we are going to go down to the Colt over there. He came right up into our face and spam that auto aim button. Supered it right into our face, so we did a lot of damage there. We're probably going to get, yeah, we're going to get a 9 powered siege robot coming our way. Now, the way it's looking like in this game so far is if we aren't going to be able to take it out with this push, then we aren't going to win the game. So we're definitely going to need a very strong push here. We're just going to super over there to help take them out. Part of a strong push is by killing all of them, not just hitting the save. Now this is not looking good at all. They actually had some really strong defenses. They have a very high DPS. And it looks like we actually basically did nothing. Holy. Let's see if we can take out this Pam over here. Ash. Oh my god, he really transferred that. 
Yeah, this game is not looking too good for us. We're really going to have to dominate both sides here, which is going to be extremely hard since the right side is all open. Although the Pam keeps coming to the left, so maybe we do have a chance at it. Yeah, no, I don't think so. It's really not looking very promising at all. Let's see if we can get the super down and see if we can kill him. All right, he didn't transfer. Oh, he did. What the? I didn't see it go. So he was able to transfer. That's definitely a shame. So we are going to lose this game, it looks like. But as always, I do add the lost games into the video just because, you know, I got to be real with it. Gotta be real with the games, and to be honest, this wasn't a bad game from our standpoint. I don't think we ever died, actually, throughout the entirety of the game, so that's super good. I just think they they just basically outcomped us, and that was the game. But yeah, anyways, that's a loss for us to start off. As I said, there's some good competition on Siege right now. GG's to them, and let's hop right into the second game. So here we go into the third game. We did get into the game a little bit late, so I don't know... The exact comp or players we are facing. We're gonna be facing. Okay, this is a pretty good comp. So we're gonna be facing a barley, a spike, and a penny. So we're gonna see again if we can dominate the game and not go down. We're gonna go right side. Just because I feel like these players, no, top players are actually stronger on some sides. I personally don't really have an opinion on what side I could go. We are able to stay alive there. I thought we were gonna go down for the first time in the video. But I think they prefer the left side, so I'm just going to chill over here on the right. I'm going to, again, be helping them out with supers. I didn't do it enough that game, I felt, because I was controlling very well. And I feel like I could have helped them out a little bit more. But anyways, we're going to be moving over here. We're going to be getting the seed trouble. We actually won that round 5 to nothing, so that's pretty huge. The goal, basically, is to be able to do, I think, over 50% with this push. And if we are able to do so, then likely... We will be able to two push them. And we're going to super the middle just like so. Again, we're not going to go down. We're just going to play protective. We're able to take one out. We're just going to stand behind this wall. Just see if we can take out that spike. I'm so lazy with it. I don't know why I'm not aiming. We're able to get that spike because I decided to aim instead of being lazy. We're going to take out that penny over there. And we're going to continue going for this barley. Now we did do a lot of percentage to them. So it looks like we're going to win this game. We do have some pretty heavy metal control, and it looks like it's going to be tough for them to come back in this one. We're going to be able to take out the penny and going to be a bit more aggro up here on the spike. Push him back. They're even yet to get one power up this game. That's pretty insane, I think, from our team. Looks like our... who went down? Our bow actually went down. Looks like they're starting to put up a little bit of pressure. We're probably going to be able to take out that spike. He's one shot right now. <laughs> Let's say the bow mine was able to do the trick. Now they, we only have to do 31%, so it's pretty much in the bag that we have this win. Just got to attack a little bit over here. We're just going to stay alive because, you know, we're not trying to die throughout the entire video. I guess that's going to be our goal. But yeah, we're just going to go up there. That's going to be a quick win, and let's head into the third game. GG's to those guys. So here we go into our third game, and we're actually going to be facing our close friend who we've mentioned at the start of the video. We're going to be facing OG. I think he's very close to one of his last 900 brawlers, which is absolutely insane to have all brawlers 900. But anyways, here we go against him. Now it looks like Ash is going to be countered by Mini Marley, so we're just going to come over here and help him out a little bit. I'm going to return back to the middle, though. I'm going to be able to hit OG. This is definitely going to be a tough game to not die. We're going to be able to get Mini Marley over there a little bit, but he is going to get the power up. They're currently up 3-0. I think using a bow will not be very beneficial against this comp, but we're going to see what happens. I actually think the bow might take out Mini Marley. It will. Wow. OG's going to be able to take out our bow. We're going to be able to push OG back a little bit. OG, again, very good at the game, so it's going to be very hard to win this one. Anyways, we're going to be taking out the robot as it's, as it's walking back, but I'm going to be a little bit more focused on the Barley and OG than I am on the robot. They haven't hit a shot on me yet so far on this push. It looks like they're actually going to do 0% here, which is really good from us. They actually got one Jesse shot landed, but that's fine on our end. We're just going to super that little area over there where the, where the bolt is going to be, and we're just going to rush in and pick that up. We are going to be hit a couple times, but not enough to take us out, that's for sure. We're going to just back up because we are one shot. Looks like Ash is going to pull super, but he's going to miss it. 
thought we were in the fire there. I'm kind of surprised we're not dead right now. Mini Marley is going to go down. Okay, I really got to start aiming and not be lazy against this team, at least. We're going to shoot over there. We're going to hit him, but he is going to get it. Wow, we actually went down there. That's pretty insane, but it looks like we're going to get the Siege Robot. We're up 7-2 to two in Bolt, 8-2, to two, so it looks like we're going to be able to get a decent push. They have a pretty good defensive comp, so hopefully we are able to do a fair amount of damage. Anyways, it's very, uh, very crucial that we don't go down here, so we're going to show up a little bit late to the attacking party, but it's important that we don't go down, so that's very smart of us to do. Anyways, we are doing some damage here. We're going to get our super onto the safe, and I think we're going to back up over here just because our robot is pretty close to, being go uh, to going down, and we want to maintain that middle control. We do have Mini Marley right in our face, and we were able to get some good hits. Now, there's only 11% left on the safe. Now, me being a Barley and having the super, I might go for it and just super the safe. I'm not too sure yet what I want to do because it looks like they're 100% going to be getting this push off. So, it might be the proper play. I'm not too sure. I might just try and wear down Mini Marley over here. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to push him up with this, force him to go my direction. See what's happening here it looks like ash might be going for the same thing that we want to go for they're able to get us down this is going to be a tough one to defend for sure since they have such a strong robot coming towards us yeah this is not looking too promising ash is going down yeah we're gonna lose this one again another very close game but we weren't able to get the win ggs 2 og we almost had that one Again, tough third game. Very good games. Very good uh, team comp they had on there. And they definitely did counter us. Having the bow isn't the best thing in the world. But let's head into the fourth and final game. But yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this high quality gameplay. And we can hop into the fourth game. Hopefully it can be a good one. So here we go into our fourth and final game. Facing another strong team. Now they're going to be running a very buff comp. And this is going to be super, super, super tough for us to control the game as a barley. Again, such a thick comp that they have. Very high HP brawlers all around, so it's going to be extremely tough. Now we're able to take out Master Froggy, and it looks like we're going to get the power up over there. Don't want to get too close to any of them. going to try and keep our distance. Now what we could do potentially is start to open up some walls, and that would help me. Just because I do have the most range, at least when it comes to the lanes. Let's see if we can take out Master Froggy over here. He's forced to move up. We can't really go many places, so there we go. We're able to take out Master Froggy. And usually I super like that when there's this much time because I can usually get back my super. Looks like the Frank is going to super, but we might be able to take him out. We are going to be able to take him out. We're just going to get our super off of one of the tanks. A good part, though, about facing tanks is they are very meaty and you can farm super pretty fast. It looks like this comp is going to be very strong on defense from them, so let's see what can happen here with our push. We're going to be supering. The safe like so. We're gonna move away from this Frank Super so we don't get hit, obviously. Wonder why Master Froggy actually ignored Ash and went for us. It's a bit strange considering Ash was just demolishing the safe, but maybe a good play. Anyways, we're gonna be moving up here. Hopefully we can two push them. That's probably the goal since they do have a pretty buff team. Don't want to really give them a chance to go at our safe. Or our Ike, I should say. Gonna move up over here and help David kill Master Froggy. Only one shot. There we go. Looks like Ash is gonna go down. I might be able to sneak away with this. I'm not sure. I might have bought it close enough for us to pick up. I did. I don't think we're gonna be able to end up getting the siege, but hopefully they're not gonna have too strong of a push, so we're gonna be able to defend it. Oh, I think we tied it. We did. Oh no, they actually cashed it in. Okay, so they're gonna have a siege push here. I do think if we defend this, though, we are going to get the win. So hopefully we can just have some pretty solid defense. So we're going to be nailing the robot. It's already at 70 HP. It hasn't even entered our area. So it looks like we're going to our defense. It's going to be pretty solid on it. Looks like they're going to do basically nothing from this push. Yeah, the Frank even backed up because they had no chance of doing anything. So that's pretty sick from our end. We're just going to super the middle because we want to help push the Pam out of there as easily as we can. This Frank obviously wants to super us. We're just going to move away from it as it's a pretty open map. But we can't hit him on the left side basically without being in range of super. We're going to be hitting everyone basically. Master Froggy's that's kind of suicidal on his end. I don't know if he's going to be able to stay alive. Yeah, he won't be able to. We're basically just going to control the right side. Hopefully not too many power-ups spawn on the left. And we're able to get this one push and win the game. I'm going to cash in one bolt over there and we're gonna have six now or nine i should say i don't know why i said six i look at the other side 
Let's see if we can get them over here. Wow, we barely got that one. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need a strong push over here. We might actually lose the game even. They have 10, so we're gonna have a very strong push coming towards us. We are already very late. So we are gonna hurry up and get in there as fast as we can. Their Frank did go down, so it's gonna be very helpful when it comes to us finishing the save. Yeah, we all just gotta stay in here and keep spamming it. And that's gonna do it, actually. So that's gonna be it for the fourth game. Those are four very, very competitive games. As I said, it's a grind right now, and I love these games. So this is awesome. Anyways, if you guys like the video, leave a thumbs up. If you guys are getting sick of Siege, let me know. I'm really enjoying it, and I would love to keep pumping out more Siege content. So let me know if you guys wanna see something else or if you guys wanna see more of Siege. But, anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys like the video. And that's it for today. Peace.